We've got more plastering to do today. It's going to be a bit different to the last plastering video we did, which was completely silent, which was enjoyable for some people and not for others. So we will be talking today, but there's going to be a little bit of a twist to how things are going to go down. We have a special guest. I'm going to teach my sister how to plaster. Hello, lovely people. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to pretty much set the tone for the day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so step one is complete, which is find all the things that we need and pull them out of the dusty house, give them a wash down and assemble them nicely so that we can mix up our first batch for the day. We're going to be doing hemp lime plaster today, a base coat on some of the walls that we were going to point but have changed the plan and are now going to plaster. So they need a first coat. We're going to mix up some and slap it on the walls. And because my sister is visiting at the moment and she didn't want to just sit around on a beach somewhere, we're going to put her to work. And I don't know what she's going to enjoy more doing this or the last time she visited about a year ago when we sent her down the well to give it a bit of a clean up. We had fun. You had yeah. fun, and yeah. I enjoyed watching. <laughs> Go team. Go team. So we'll have to see how we go with this project, but the next step is to get mixing. Uh, <laughs> That's not how we start, no? That's we not how we start, no. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Excellent. Let's talk through what we've got and the process. So we've got two buckets of hydrated lime, We've got two buckets of hemp. We have currently one bucket of water, but we'll need some more. And we've shown this many, many times uh, as we've been doing the, the plastering, both the base coats, the float coats, the top coats. It's all pretty much the same kind of concept, but slightly different ratios of slightly different materials applied in slightly different ways. But even though we've shown it a load of times, we still get lots of questions about well, what's the ratio and how do you mix it? And we're gonna try and show as much of that process as we can and explain it as clearly as we can. Of course, if you still have questions, stick them down below. But yes, this is kind of like a how to hemp plaster kind of video. And uh, of course you get the benefit of seeing someone who's never done it before, go through all that kind of learning process and maybe even having some questions uh, as we go through things as well. Okay, step one, stick the water in the big blue barrel to your left. That's easy. Is it? <laughs> I got soggy feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the next step is going to require some PPE. So I love PPE, PPE police. So mask and off. goggles is a, a good choice. Kylie makes this look much better than I do. Oh. She's done it a few more times. There we go. Some very fetching gloves. Right, lime in? Yeah, lime in. So you want to put the bucket very low down yeah. and just pour gently. Oh, it's really satisfying. That one? And yeah, yeah and the other one as well, yeah. Oh, it is quite nice. Right, the flower of the cake is in. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> So just a quick note on the type of lime that we're using. This is hydrated lime, which works really well for us for the kind of plastering stuff. We do also sometimes use quick lime, which is a very reactive powder when added to water or when water is added to it. And we don't tend to use that for the plastering because then it becomes really hot to work with with your hands. But we do use it when we're mixing up mortars or doing pointing and things like that. But this one is hydrated lime. It's not reactive with water and it's gonna kind of mix up into a nice smooth putty-like consistency. That's how it works. So it's on the lowest speed at the moment. There is a dial on your right hand for oh, yeah. increasing the speed. But to begin with, just kind of mix it around just to try and get some of the powder and the water together, just so that it doesn't make too much dust. When 
when you feel comfortable that it's not so dusty, you can increase the speed a bit. What? <laughs> Okay, stop for a second. That's nice. So that's what it looks like after just a little bit of combining of the, the water and the lime. Stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. Like meringue. Yeah, like meringue. That's what I say. Let's stick some hemp in there okay. so you can just leave the, the mixer to the side. Yeah. I know, I've, I've seen your videos. I've had it. <laughs> well, you must be an expert. You've seen it on YouTube. <laughs> so probably just half of that to begin with just because it gets very stiff very quickly. You good work out. Oh my god, there's loads to go. <laughs> Jesus. Very moist. Too moist. Too moist. Speed it up a bit now. Yeah. yeah. You're struggling there. <laughs> and breathe. So there we go. How was that as your first mix? Uh, yeah, good. It's much harder than you make it look. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, it's it's, it's a very, it's very yeah. fibrous mix. It's it quite so, difficult, but then particularly at the end, yes. <coughs> turned up high enough on the speed. Yeah, but the um, higher the speed, the more you have to fight the machine. So, uh, so we'll leave that for a bit. Let the hemp absorb yep. some of the water. Then we'll adjust it with more water if we need to, and then we can start slapping it on the wall. Cool. There we go. So, you know, take a break or go and find something else to do. <laughs> It's grown on me a bit. Yeah, and you were saying it didn't look as tidy up close, but I, but I disagree. Okay. I think it looks really nice. Well, you're allowed to disagree. It looks, and especially now it's got a nice coating of dust. <laughs> it makes it look very really rusty. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, So this room with the climbing wall is the location for our plastering for today. We've removed the frame, which we were always planning to do, but maybe we didn't make that clear when we did the, the pointing video. But the plan was always to use the frame as kind of a guide for the area that we wanted pointed and the outside area that we wanted plastered. And at some point in the future, I'm gonna come along, clean it up a bit, make it a little bit more of an organic transition between the plaster and the pointing. Hopefully it's gonna look pretty nice. Anyway, we're not pointing today. With plastering this is where we're going to be doing it and our mix is just about ready so i think we are just about ready to get some on the wall oh you ruined it <laughs> oh i'll put that bit back okay. <laughs> there you go it's fine all right that's plaster cool Ooh, it's fishy. so if you, actually you've got the, the the right kind of gloves on do you want to just pick some up in your hand just to kind of see how it clumps together or not Ooh. So if you squeeze it a few times, almost like a stress ball, it should kind of stick together. Yeah. It's not sticky, but it's clumping. Yeah. We'll just have a quick look. 
Oh yeah, that's, that's ideal. <coughs> this is great watching someone else do all the work. Not easy. You found respect. <laughs> I think it smells like porridge. Yeah, a little bit. I think it's got like a medicinal smell to it, as well as porridge. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it was hemp. It smells yeah. hempy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, scrape more. No, no, that's fine. Is that okay? Yeah. Crack it. So now just do another mix and uh, okay. I'll go and have a coffee. That kind of level of misting. No, that's fine. Wet. No, no, it's perfect. Yeah. We could just do a small area to begin with. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's, up to there is fine. That'll do. And why do you why do you wet the wall? Well, it's, the wall. it's all about suction, you see. Oh. So, <laughs> can you stop laughing next door? <laughs> it's inappropriate. Yeah. So the stones are very porous and they want to suck out as much moisture as possible from the plaster which has got quite a lot of moisture in it because we added a load of water but also the hemp fibers also absorb quite a lot of moisture so if you stick it straight onto a dry wall then it can pull that moisture out too quickly and it can lead to cracking although some people say that you don't need to spray the wall down at all when working with hemp i'm not entirely sure the reasons and we have done both successfully so it works when you spray it down it works when you don't but generally speaking if you're working with plaster, particularly lime plaster, you want to control the suction as much as possible so that it doesn't pull all that moisture out too quickly, dry too fast and lead to cracking. So just grab a handful and kind of work it in your hand a little bit to get it kind of clumping together and sticky. And let's just start up here because it's already there. Okay, yeah. Start. And you'll so see in some cases there's like quite deep cracks. So you can put a lot in that bit. Yeah. And then you just kind of... There you go. Smooth it in. Yeah, it doesn't have to be too smooth at this okay. stage. So you can just. So do you have to do you have in. to squeeze it to activate it? Well, I think it just helps kind of find it. get it all sticking together. Yeah. Um, and then it it's much easier to to then stick on the wall. So if I just took some like that and tried to slap it on, yes, it stays there. But you know there could be air pockets in there and uh, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. So it Whereas just gets when you when well. you kind of get it going in your hand first and then try so and get it. Levelish. Levelish, yeah. Oh, I mean, if there's okay. if there's anything that's really deep, then we may have to do a second layer. Okay. Um, but it can easily go on two and a half centimeters thick. Yeah. Oh, could, okay. Could even go. Well, more. it's nice that you've got something to work to. Yeah, so exactly. Happy for me to work to that. Yeah, exactly. Thickness. Um, yeah, so I mean, in some cases, thin. like here, this is very thin, right? Yeah. But when you were, if you were to put it into one of these cracks, then yeah. that's going to be a good two and a half centimeters, maybe even a little yeah. bit more. But we've yeah. not had any problems with it so far. Okay. And how long does it stay? How quickly do you have to use it up? Does, oh, it, go, this, does it dry out really you quick? Could, you could leave this overnight oh, really? covered and it would still be usable the next day. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, which is cool. So oh. we're just going to do a tiny bit for camera and yeah. then like, we're going to go out yeah? <laughs> yeah. No? Well, this will go quite quickly when, when you get into the swing of it. Yeah. So I'm going to go and mix up another batch while okay. you crack on. Oh, sweet. Come on, have you have a new
How are you feeling about your plastering experience? It's good. It's, um, it's very satisfying. And you're not just saying that, we're not secretly <laughs> forcing you into manual labour against your will whilst on holiday. No, not at all. This again. is again. again. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's lovely to help out and yeah, try something new. Um, and get a feel for what it is you guys do. Yeah. And is Great. it exactly like you see it on the TV? Uh, mostly, yeah. Um, no, you're supposed to say it's much harder. <laughs> it's much harder, it's very difficult. <laughs> no, I think it's nice to see progress, what we've done. Finish that little bit off, finish this bit off and we'll do next door next. So, yeah, having someone else to help helps. It definitely does. It does. As long as my quality is good enough, that might be the uh, sticking point. It's a little better or worse than now. <laughs> exactly, I mean, it is literally the blind leading the blind here. <laughs> Okay, maybe not literally, but... <laughs> well, you're all quite blind. <laughs> well, yes, without my glasses, I'm quite blind. Excellent teaching. <laughs> not much teaching required, because the putting it on the wall part is fairly straightforward, and you really get a feel for it as soon as you pick some up and you start, you know, kind of smearing it around. So I started putting it on and taking it from the fat bit and smearing it to the rock. And I did that for about an hour and then tried the other way taking it from the fat bit, the rock, and smearing it up, and that's much easier. Okay. So, I don't know how you guys do it. So what, you, you put the, the chunk of lime into the, into the hole, and then smear it up, and, and then, then, smear it you out. Can then yeah. smear the wall up, Yeah. and then it makes it one stick on a bit better, and two, you get that smooth, well, not that you need it smooth, but you get it more consistent thickness, Yeah. because that's the tricky bit, because it's so lumpy bumpy. Yeah. Trying to make it smooth for when you come and do the next layer because mm. I know that makes it a bit easier. It definitely does, yeah. Um, so yeah, it took me a little while to get the right technique, but no, it's good. So was that something that your excellent teacher <laughs> taught you or did you learn it by just doing learn it? Learn through error is how I learn. Yeah. <laughs> I um, prefer learn by doing. Learn, learn by doing and learn by going, ah, oh, that's much easier.
Are you admiring your handiwork? Yeah, it's not bad, eh? Pleased? Yeah. But yeah, it takes a long time. It takes a long time. And you've got a lot of walls. <laughs> got a lot of walls. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, famously, most rooms have four. They do have so, four. And yeah. there are a few rooms. Yeah, but it's getting there. It's getting there. One room left. Nearly there. And just, oh, no, yeah, those are done behind us. Yeah, one yeah. room left. Downstairs. Yes, downstairs. Won't look upstairs. No. No, no. let's not go upstairs. No. Are you pleased? Did she do a good job? Yes. Yeah, Is she welcome job. back? Yes. Are you planning to replace me? Let me think. Well, maybe. No. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> maybe when we're done. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Well, I will wait and see if that becomes a reality or not. But speaking of done, we are done for today and for this video. Uh, we've shown you so much plastering before, I'm running out of ways to make it more interesting and different. But, you know, getting somebody else to do it whilst I watched was, uh, well, it worked for me. Maybe it worked for you too. But hopefully seeing somebody plaster for the first time, even though you saw us plaster for the first time many months ago, is some level of encouragement if you want to do something like this yourself. So do get stuck in, have a go, see how it goes, and uh, then work it out from there. That's our approach anyway. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. Yes, I thought you would do that. Of course nice I was. one. Of course I was waiting for it. <laughs> uh, Bye-bye. You... <laughs> oh, you're filming. Did you call yourself plastering support earlier? I'm now plastering support. You know what plastering support has to do at the end of the day? Get plastered? Have a beer. Tidy up. Mm. Yeah. Tidy up. <laughs> Welcome to Emma's channel of hijacking Make Do Grow. <laughs> Behind the scenes, we have a wild Kylie out in the wild. See, now what you don't see is the uh, 20 builders they've got hiding in the back. <laughs> oh, wait, it would have been finished by now. <laughs> it's a good job you've got a mask on, people can't see your uh, disgraced face. So probably just half of that to begin with, just because it gets very stiff very quickly. There's a joke in there somewhere. I'm not saying anything. Did you find it? <laughs> Did I find the joke? <laughs> I have to go around and pivot. Oh. You pivoted too early. I did. Uh, how do the chickens get out? Oh. Uh, there's a chicken related emergency. Um, we will have to come back to this in a second. The chickens have escaped. Oh, you got one. Oh, I got a chicken. I don't know which one this is. <laughs> Chia. Like missing, missing. Missing, missing, okay. She's in the yard. Oh, she's in. Oh, yeah, there she is. There you are. Well trained chicken, comes when she's called. You three are trouble. Two of them. Oh. One of you is stupid <laughs> and two of you are trouble. Uh, <laughs> not how we start? No, that's not how we start, no. Do you think you could fit in there? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not very flexible. My butt's too big. <laughs> don't put that in. So, mask and job. goggles is a, a good choice. Goggles first. Can be. When was this last cleaned? Um, is never the right answer. <laughs> oh God! That over the top. Yeah, you might find that might mask first mask, is better. Mask first. I should have watched you when you put this on. Oh, like a tie. Very, very posh. <laughs> ah, right. Okay. Figure out the mask first. Um, totally. When you get your own PPE, um, do this bit first before you put it around your neck. And before you turn the camera on. Um, also that. <laughs> That's going to be like, oh no, it might be right. <laughs> Take two. Take two. There we go. That's better. Is it? We're still at step one. <laughs> Let's go. Didn't you want to make a Breaking Bad joke? Oh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't really watch it. <laughs> Are we making lime or meth? So let's lime? take, yeah, uh, the lime goes in. People often ask us why we don't have volunteers. Well, my sister is partly demonstrating <laughs> the reason right now. How's it feeling? Is it stiff? <laughs> stiff but good? Stiff but good. <laughs> Thank you.
Yes, we have the same sense of humour. It's worrying, isn't it? 